Mr. Anshul. I am an astrologer, numerologist and Vastu consultant. Today I will share with you what all results Rahu will be giving when it's there in the 9th house of your Patrika. Uh, 9th house is a house of your luck. 9th house shows spirituality, also shows long journey. So how these things will get impact in your life? I will share with you all this. But before that, I'll request you all to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you may keep on getting the notifications of my videos. So let's start. Uh, when Rahu is present in the ninth house, first of all, we need to know what Rahu is. Rahu is a house or Rahu is a planet which shows, you know, greed or uh, craving of a person, what all he wants to have or what all he wants. Um, in his life that greed that hunger never stops because Rahu is the head so it he doesn't have stomach so he keeps on you know eating or he keeps on uh, taking things in his life so this is a malefic planet which shows uh, malefic results or sudden events happens when Rahu is present anywhere in your Patrika so when Rahu comes in the ninth house Ninth house is a house of spirituality. It shows long journey in a person's life. And ninth house also shows a guru, like uh, it shows a teacher. Ninth house represents uh, a teacher. As per Kalpursh Kundli, ninth house is a house of Jupiter, that is Guru. So when ninth, and it also shows luck in a person's life. Uh, how much lucky you are that is shown by ninth house. Ninth house also shows higher learning, new knowledge. Like if you want to learn new languages or if you want to go abroad for learning, then ninth house should be strong for you to get higher learning. Management studies are shown by ninth house. So what happens when Rahu comes here? When Rahu comes here, the, you know, a person always want to you know get more knowledge this is a house which shows a person craving or person always want to get more knowledge a person wants to you know improve his knowledge these people want to keep on learning new things they are much inclined in foreign things like they want to get education in abroad they want to uh, go and live abroad because this is a house of long journey they always want to travel. Uh, ninth house shows a person who wants uh, to teach people also because from ninth house, uh, Rahu placement here aspects your first house, third house and fifth house. So altogether, ninth house is a higher learning and third house is the communication of that learning. How you will be communicating your learning is shown by your third house and fifth house is a house of intelligence. So this all combination like the placement of Rahu here shows a person who's good or who always wants to do higher learning, who wants to get more knowledge in his life. It's a house of spirituality also. The person wants to remain spiritual or person is very spiritual in his life. They want to go for long journeys. And this is a placement for learning new languages too. So person will always be inclined towards learning new languages. It's a house of guru and teacher. So if Rahu is placed there, the person rise to become teachers and very famous teachers in abroad or they must be involved in teaching you know, in research uh, work or they will be teachers of, uh, you know, something to do with research or uh, something to do with internet. Like they will be teaching uh, IIT or IT, like these kind of things or internet, they'll be very good with internet or uh, they will be very good with the network mar marketing and all. So this is uh, what Rahu gives if it's placed in the ninth house. It also shows the younger sibling of your spouse because from seventh house, it is a third house from seventh. So it shows the nature or the characteristic of your uh, spouse, younger sibling also. So 
these are the results of Rahu in the ninth house. It also boosts your luck here if Rahu is placed in a dignified manner or, a, or in a good nakshatra or a benefic nakshatra and uh, giving a result of positive houses, not of malefic houses like 6, 8, 12. So this placement is uh, how to judge this placement with numerology. If a person has destiny three, okay, this uh, destiny three plays a very important role in a person's life. The person will not be able to take wrong decisions in his life if he has destiny three. Or if a person has three anywhere in the numerology, for example, if a person is born on, uh, let's say, 30th of April 1984, then he has number three here. Or uh, if a person is born in a manner that while adding all the numbers, the total comes to three, then these people will be very good with spirituality and they will be good teachers. Like uh, if Rahu is placed in the ninth house along with they have number three anywhere in the DOB and will be far better if they have destiny three, then it's sure and short that they will be doing some kind of teaching work in abroad okay or they will be teaching some foreign languages or they will be involved in some something which has to do with the foreign things but they will be very good teachers that's for sure so guys this was my observation on Rahu in the ninth house if you like the video kindly subscribe the channel and uh, press the notification bell so thank you all have a nice day Namaskar.